can do about it. When I finally hired my lawyer, she was saying that there was nothing she could do about that back then. And um, how long ago was that? Years. How long ago was that? So it was, it's been, let me see, it's 2022. So it was 2018, 19, and 20. Mm -hmm. No, 20, 19, 20, and 21. So it was the year of 2019. 2020 and 2021 was filed all three of the kids. Okay, so let me let, let me let me tell you why. Check this out. Um, check this out. I'm gonna tell you why they told you that. I'm gonna tell you why you can't bring it on contempt before before before. Why you can't bring uh, uh, contempt charges? The judge cannot even regulate taxes. Tax laws are not family court. Are not. It's not a family court issue. You got equal custody of the kid, right? You got equal custody. I was supposed to have equal custody. No, no, no. Okay, I know. Told, I, I know, I know. But what does the paperwork say? I just want to say that for sake of argument. What does the paperwork say? The, the paperwork says joint physical and legal custody. Okay, it, but and for, for, on far as a time scale, this is why I tell people: joint legal is 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 it's all formality. What the, the correct terminology? What we what we do for our clients here is equal joint and physical uh, joint uh, legal and physical custody equal oh. yeah that's that's the word that word is missing when i because i did i did so many videos on it joint custody is if there are seven days in a week you got five minutes you got five minutes custody that's joint that's considered joint so time wise is what always means something equal legal and physical custody that's equal so right. okay so uh, what 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 is the time scale? What is the time scale in your custody arrangement? What is the time scale? Well, it was supposed to be um, alternating weekends and Tuesdays and Thursdays, and that's where that's what it was for a long time. Oh no 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 no! Hold on hold on hold on! I'm, I'm I'm I was still in the middle of something. So hold on, let me add that up. Okay. Alternating weekends plus plus what now? Tuesdays and Thursdays. Tuesdays, yes. So you get the kid Tuesdays and Thursdays every week, alternating. I was getting them Thursdays of every week. Gotcha. All right. Okay. Hold on. I'm, I'm just trying to calculate the time in my head. Alternating. I got you. Okay. Uh, alternating. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's why she's doing what she's doing. You you don't have. Okay. Okay. Check this out. IRS laws state that the person that has the child. 189 days is the one that can file for taxes. You cannot, if, 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 if there is, because normally it's 188 days each, each half of year. If one person has a child for 189, they are eligible under the law. A judge cannot supersede that. This is why, no offense to you, I'm just, I'm just saying, whenever I hear somebody say the judge made the ruling on who files the child doing taxes, I laugh. I'm like, that's just a feel-good formality for the child. And just like what's happening with you, the woman is tearing off in your ass with the time. She's legally right by doing that. Now, the reason why nobody is bringing that matter forward is because there, in fact, is no merit there. Because the judge cannot uh, rule on something that is a federal law. You can't get around that. That's like saying you have the kid, uh, she has the kid 29 days, uh, 20 days, and you only have the kid 10. Add that up, that's 120 times, that's, a, that's 120 days a year. But the judge saying you can file for the kids. The judge cannot do that. So go ahead. Oh, okay, so... Now, once that was all determined, she um, made the decision.